Buck and I are here just hanging out in the bathroom. Uh, it's about five o'clock in the morning and I'm in here getting ready for the day. And so Bug comes with me. This is how I manage him during this time while I'm doing things like blow drying my hair. Um, I bring his bed in here. You can see his bully stick. He has been in here cruising around, exploring, um, biting things he shouldn't, but then I was able to tell him no. <laughs> and now he is laying down, hopefully going to take a nap. Um, but just another idea of a way to manage a puppy while you're doing something where you're preoccupied. You know, he's not out roaming around the house right now, uh, but he's also not in his kennel. He's in here hanging out with me, uh, but he doesn't have a lot of options to make any mistakes. Also, he did, because he was in here and I was able to watch his cues, he started to kind of circle around in the corner and knew he needed to go poop. We went outside, took care of business, and now he's ready to rest for a little bit. Okay, here they are, another puppy activity, playtime in the fenced yard. So these two are out here running around. I don't know if you can see from here, but they both have draggers on. So again, that's just a biothane leash with the loop cut off. Um, those are on just in case I need to gather them up. I have a tool at my disposal. Um, but also something key to note here, even though Bug is out here enjoying his free playtime, I am still supervising. So I'm not in the garage working on something and not watching him or in the house because he might start to dig. Um, he might, you know, I don't know, chew on something like one of those chairs by the fire or anything he might do out here that I don't want him to do. I'm going to be teaching him that now while he's young. So I'm going to be supervising and providing any sort of guidance I need to, but mostly this is free play time. So another activity to let a puppy get their energy out, let them sniff, let them explore. This is when I would say I let them be a puppy um, to an extent, of course, like I said, no digging, anything like that. Okay, so this little clip, we're just going to show Bug here, who's been relaxing in the kitchen. Now we are headed to school, so Bug's going to go to his kennel. So this is his other freedom limiter. Even a puppy this age absolutely should be learning to be in a kennel. Um, I give him a special bully stick when he's in here. He's got blankets, and again, he has been outside playing, he has had breakfast, he has gone potty, so I know all of his needs are met, and now he can relax in here while we're gone. Okay, here we are. It's lunchtime. Here's Mr. Bug. He is in the gated kitchen area here with Piper. Uh, they've been playing. I just took them out to potty. I am in here to make my lunch. So they just spent the last couple hours in the kennels while I was working. And now they're out in this area where their freedom is limited, their access is limited. They're not able to go explore the house without me knowing where they are or what they're up to. They are in here where I can supervise while I make lunch. Uh, and then they'll be going outside to play for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then back to a little bit of kennel time for a couple more hours. So just another idea, another way I manage a puppy. Makes having this puppy much easier because I'm not losing him as he goes exploring. He's in here by me having fun um, and on a routine. It's really about routine. So he comes out of the kennel, he potties. He comes in here, he plays, he has water. Uh, and then it's going to go back in the crate a little later. So.
Here's just another example of a way to limit the freedom of this puppy um, so he doesn't get the idea of running over and taking food from Piper. Um, it's also teaching him um, that his resources aren't threatened, so working on preventing resource guarding. You can see they're both tethered. Piper is a bowl of food. And then Bug over here, I just sprinkled his food all over that boot tray. I like to uh, have puppies kind of scavenge around um, for their food, gives them something to do for a little bit um, versus just eating out of a bowl. So making him work for it a little bit. Which is another example of how his freedom is limited throughout the day in different activities.